Few people know or have heard, but next to everyone's famous elephant foot there is also the so-called sister of the popular elephant foot. The elephant foot is a modern artifact called in the popular game stalker. In previous videos I have sometimes referred to the elephant foot as the elephant foot, and many viewers have laughed. But not the point, despite such nice things, the corium is a serious enough object that it has not yet been decided what to do with it. But information has been declassified that another such lava has been found, which was formed after the extinguishing of the fourth power unit in 1986. Let's talk in detail today about how this object came to be, what's wrong with it today, and what else has been found. Hello, friends, everyone. You're on the Visioner channel. Let's get started. Before you watch this video, I'm going to ask you to support my channel with a thumbs up. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. In the fall of 1986, a team of liquidators reached the underground corridor at the base of the emergency reactor. Inside, the so-called barbotter pool, they found black lava that had leaked right out of the reactor core. The most famous formation there was solid and the radiation gauge scale was off the mark, which also warned the liquidators that it was deadly to approach this object. Later, the liquidators gave it the grim name Elephant Foot. It was believed that 300 seconds, and a person was guaranteed a quick death. Some scientists say that Elephant Foot still remains the most dangerous waste on the planet after the largest radiation accident. According to Chernobyl archives, Elephant Foot was disabling literally any dosimetric instruments, with a radiation power of more than 10,000 X-rays per hour. Modern people believe that the elephant foot is already a safe object, which has completely passed its half-life. However, this is not true. To kill a person, a dose ten times less is enough. In one hour you would get a dose from an elephant foot that is equivalent to four and a half million chest x-rays. That's a dose almost 1,000 times greater than the one that increases the risk of cancer. The radiation damages human cells in a very peculiar way, knocking out atoms and molecules, so death from it comes rather slowly. Up to a point, treatment helps, but when the dose is too high, as in, say, close contact with an elephant foot, the human body simply can't handle it. Shortly after the Chernobyl accident, nearly 600,000 people were moved there to contain the spread of radiation. Consciously or not, many of them made great sacrifices. More than 30 people died within weeks of the accident, and many thousands received doses of radiation that exceeded the norm for a lifetime. This was definitely the reason for the increase in the cancer rate among these people. After the nuclear fire was extinguished, the liquidators tried to keep the invisible threat from the emergency core at bay. In May 1986 construction began on the sarcophagus, a giant concrete shelter designed to isolate the radiation from the outside world. But it was not completely isolated. At Chernobyl, the sarcophagus has access points that allow researchers to observe the active zone and workers to enter it. In December of that year, researchers discovered an elephant's leg. It reaches several meters across and emits so much radiation that it is impossible to stay near it for more than a few seconds. Even so, we have pictures of this deadly mass at a safe distance. Liquidator workers constructed a clever device like a camera on a wheel and moved it as close as possible to the elephant's leg. A careful analysis revealed that it is not only made up of nuclear fuel. In fact, there is only a small percentage of fuel. The rest of the mass is concrete, sand and pieces of the cover. All of this melted and as a single conglomerate and blast down. This material was called the Chernobyl elephant's foot. There, where it appeared, dust began to fly off of it, and cracks appeared on the surface. But over the years it has remained too dangerous to approach. We know that not all attempts to study this mass have been as safe. In some of the pictures, we see an expert touching this mass directly. We had to take samples, we had to get as much information about it as possible. When these pictures were taken 10 years after the accident, the elephant foot was emitting 10 times less radiation than before. Nevertheless, in as little as 500 seconds of exposure of this magnitude, a person can develop mild signs of radiation sickness, and an hour and a half of such exposure would prove fatal. 
Plans are now underway to ensure that the elephant's foot will be securely closed in the near future. As a matter of fact, this is nonsense. Because of such an elementary human mistake, the elephant's leg still emits a high background radiation, penetrating a couple of centimeters deeper and deeper under the foundation of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant every year. If it reaches groundwater, it could cause another catastrophic explosion or release of radioactive substances into nearby bodies of water. As for the second elephant's leg, you can see this object now. In 1986, for some reason, the experts turned a blind eye to this object, although station workers refer to this route as the elephant foot sister. This is the same dangerous route that was formed after the fire. This object is no worse at emitting radiation than the elephant's foot. It's been many years since this unique mass of radioactive waste leaked out of the core, but it still shows just how dangerous nuclear power is, after all, and it's best not to mess around with it. As of 2023, Elephant Foot has lowered its radiation levels, but not enough for people to get anywhere near it. They started to cut it into pieces and take it for burial in Birkovo. It was decided the elephant's leg would be dismantled by a robot. The robot is not made yet, but is already in working out. It will both dismantle and remove the pieces. Well, in the meantime, the elephant foot continues to kill all life around it and sits in its dark place without dungeon light, once again reminding us how the most powerful tool went out of control once upon a time. In general, if you take all the underground floating artifacts under the plant, there is not only an elephant's foot, two elephant's feet, but also many places with frozen foam nuclear fuel. In fact, under the Chernobyl nuclear power plant there are many contaminated places where man has not yet set foot. The answer is simple, these places are very heavily contaminated and contaminated, and it is simply impossible to get into them. But for many years of research preparations, plant workers have plans to dismantle these elephantine dangerous sites. In fact, to be honest, workers are waiting a few more years for these coriums to give their final half-life. Despite the fact that 35 years have passed, the elephant foot is still a dangerous object today, or it would have been dismantled long ago. That's all for today. Did you like the video? Like it and write a comment. Like the channel? Subscribe, click on the bell. Peace over the head, everyone. May each of you watching this video now be healthy, as well as your family and friends. And most importantly, may each and every one of you be alive. In this, unfortunately, not an easy time for us. Don't drink, don't smoke, and see you all again.